Well, good morning and welcome to your Sunday Gardener. I'm John Collins along with Carrie Engel from Valley Farms. Uh, we're right next to the Tapsco River, <laughs> all the shipping going by, uh, looking back uh, toward the city. And uh, it brings to mind water. I, I don't know <laughs> yeah, why. Right. It just brings to mind water. And water is an important thing for your plants during the summertime. Especially if you're on vacation, you disappear for two weeks. It is, and I mean, I've had, I, you know, I've counted on people to water for me, and you feel guilty if you say, "Hey, things didn't go quite as I had planned." So, you know, just take some precautions ahead of time so you can help people out. Okay, so how do we water well, for first, longer term? For longer term, we're going to cheat. We're going to try a few things. Um, we're going to do this first. This is a product called Soil Moist, and it's just a polymer. So I'm going to dump some of that in a glass, okay. just to show you how this works. This is an ingredient in a lot of different potting soils. Um, they may use the term. Moisture mate mm -hmm. or something else, but we're just gonna let that sit. Don't drink. You're right. Don't right? drink. Don't we're gonna drink. let that sit. Stir that up just a little well, I'm bit. I'm thirsty with all this sun. I'm just thirsty. Whatever. Okay. Now while we're waiting for that to do its thing, we have some other uh, uh, water extension products. I guess <laughs> watering extension products. You know, I thought these were like totally useless, and right. then I went on vacation and needed something, and I used it. Now this happens to be a plastic one. The plant nannies are a little bit nicer. Um, they can be very decorative. They can be very nice. Just pour water into the bottom there, then it'll just siphon it out. I guess. And the it'll plant just needs work it. its way down. Exactly. For however long. You have to experiment probably uh, before you go on vacation to see how long it's good for. You really do. It's depend on your pot size, on uh, the plant's root system, and everything before you go mm -hmm. on. Now out in my major garden, I did a lot of raised beds a few years ago. And I finally did those rain drip systems, mm -hmm, you know. Right. But I ended up using a timer, and that saved me because even when I was away, that garden automatically got watered every three days. All right, and so this could be all set up. Uh, some are electronic, I guess this one might be, and some wind up, although they're going to unwind at some point. And you just need what you need. You can go by the week, the day, whatever. And you can hook this up to your hose. You can hook it up to just, uh, uh, yeah, the sprinkler type mm -hmm. hoses. Uh, you can just hook it up to a regular sprinkler. I use it to move with my drip system, and it just worked beautifully. And even if you're not going on vacation, you don't have to worry about it. It's just it's nice. Automatic. It delivers the water right where it needs to, right, right. to the root system. Right. Now this looks a little. This is called soil moist. Yeah, oh. that's the stuff we use before. And I mean, honestly, you can already see oh. what's happened here. Look at how that's become. A little snowballish, you know yeah, what I mean? Does. It's really it, filled up. Right, it does look like uh, very tasty and cool here and refreshing, <laughs> but it's for your plants. Now, this would just go then on the surface of a potted plant, or actually, you'd mix it into the soil. Mix it into the soil. Mix oh, it and into then the when soil. you water the soil, it's in there. Right, and, and then the as the plant dries out or the plant's roots need water, it's going to, through capillary action, grab the water out of that soil moisture and bring it right up to your plant. Yeah, it kind of looks like caviar. <laughs> right. Right. Then we got these things. Well, and this is nice. This is if you want to just use maybe your wine bottle for something decorative mm -hmm. or just a big old soda bottle. Fill it up, pour it in, you know, upside down into this thing, and the clay is nice and porous. So again, the water through capillary action moves out to the plant's root zone as it needs it. It's like a clay pot. Yeah. It's like a clay pot. So they're simple and easy. Um, you know, a couple other things to do too for vacation. I usually take that time to like cut back my hanging baskets. Mm -hmm. um, if I'm not home for a week or two and they don't look 100%, that's fine. Mm -hmm. But it really reinvigorates them. The other thing I do like to do with my container plants is they need fertilizer almost every two weeks. But that's a great time if you haven't been doing it all along to give them a good shot of food. Right before you take off. Right before you take now off. Now we have maybe 30, 40 seconds left. Elsewhere in the garden, we're uh, halfway through July. We're ending and in, going into the latter portion of summertime. Still a lot of heat and humidity. You know, keep an eye out for some of your summer weeds. If you can pull those out, they're competing with your other plants. So go ahead and get those out. Not a whole lot to do in the lawn right now. The lawn's dormant. It's setting back, yes. Yeah, it's, it's hard. I know it's hard for lawn guys especially. <laughs> but sometimes it goes a little brown this year, and most of the time that's fine. Just don't tramp on it too much and try not to cut it. Really, it's better not to cut it. Than right. Try to go over it every time. And then just keep an eye on your yard for any insects or diseases right. that may have popped up. A lot of times, pruning shears will take it, take care of the problem, or spray the hose. Other times, bring plants in, let us take a look at them. We can determine if you need to treat them with anything. Okay, thanks for joining Thank us this you. morning on your Sunday Gardener. Nice waterside location. Feels great this morning. <laughs> Next Sunday, more on your Sunday Gardener. We'll see you then.